Hello everyone. I hope you all are doing very well. And in this session, we are going to discuss our Silhouette score. Basically, this evaluation matrix falls under clustering matrices. And to calculate the Silhouette score, uh, let's go through the basics of it first. So, a uh, Silhouette score is a matrix used to evaluate quality of clustering in unsupervised learning, right? Basically, clustering is a part of unsupervised learning. So when we have clustered some different, different data points, right? So what is the quality over this clustering? How similar these data points are in these clusters comparative to the other clusters is going to be calculated using Silhouette score, right? Now it measures how similar each data point in a cluster to its own cluster compared to other cluster, right? So how similar data points are there? Let's cluster A, this is cluster B. So in cluster A, this data point similarity and in cluster B, the similarity of data points are going to measure. And on the basis of their similarities, we are going to calculate, we are going to deduct, we are going to interpret Silhouette score, right? Okay. Now, a higher Silhouette score indicates that clusters are well separated. If the score is high, it means that clusters are well separated. It means that, yes, uh, the uh, matchings between the data points are uh, very, very clear. While lower score suggests that clusters may be overlapping. It means that if slot score will be low, it means that clusters may do overlapping. Likewise, that means clusterings are not well separated. It is not well formed, right? Okay. Now, to calculate this Silhouette score, we are having uh, the four steps. First, we need to calculate mean intra-cluster distance, which we are going to represent as AI. Second step is calculate mean nearest cluster distance, which we are going to represent as BI. Third step is calculate Silhouette score for each data point, which is SI. And the fourth step is compute average Silhouette score, that is S. So, mean intra-cluster distance AI, that is the difference between the clusters in the same cluster, right? And calculate the mean nearest cluster distance between these clusters and then Silhouette score and then average Silhouette score. So, better to understand them with the help of some points and one numerical problem. First, we need to calculate mean intra-cluster distance that is for each data point i in a cluster. Let's say this is a cluster A. So in this cluster, for each data point, multiple data points will be there. So in each point, with each point in a cluster, we need to calculate average distance that is the similarity between i and all other points with, within the same cluster. Denote this as a AI. It is nothing but Let's say these are some of the points. So we are going to calculate difference between distance between these two particular data points, then distance between these two cluster, these two, these two. And we are going to calculate distance between each and every, each and every other data points, right? So by calculating this, what is going to be happen? By calculating this, what is going to be happen that we can calculate the average distance between each and every data points that what is the average distance between each and other data points in the same cluster. The second one is second step is we need to calculate mean nearest cluster distance, which is for each data point I in a cluster for in a cluster for each data point, we need to calculate average distance between I and all points in the nearest Nikeboring clusters, that is the cluster with the smallest average distance to i, right? We are going to represent it as a bi. That is, we need to calculate average distance between any particular point i and all other points in the nearest Nikeboring clusters. Whatever are the nearest Nikeboring clusters, we need to calculate the difference of that particular data points with all nearest Nike boring cluster. We are going to represent it as a BI. Thereafter, we need to calculate Silhouette score for each data point that is SI. And the formula of calculating Silhouette score is 
एस आई इक्वल टू बी ऑफ आई दैट इज द मीन नियरेस्ट क्लस्टर डिस्टेंस माइनस ए आई दैट इज स्टेप वन मीन इंट्रा क्लस्टर डिस्टेंस राइट एंड वी आर गोइंग टू डिवाइड इट विथ मैक्सिम ऑफ ए आई कामा बी आई वॉट एवर इज द मैक्सिम वी आर गोइंग टू डिवाइड इट विथ दैट राइट सो एस आई विल रेंज फ्रॉम दैट इज सलॉटी स्कोर विल रेंज फ्रॉम माइनस वन टू वन एस आई नियर टू प्लस वन इंडिकेट दैट आई इज वेल वॉज टू इट्स ऑन क्लस्टर एंड पुअरली मेज टू नाइक बोरिंग क्लस्टर वेर एज इफ एस आई इज नियर टू जीरो इट इंडिकेट दैट आई इज ऑन वेरी क्लोज टू द डिसीजन बाउंड्री बिटवीन टू नाइक बोरिंग क्लस्टर्स एंड इफ एस आई इज नियर टू माइनस वन इट इंडिकेट दैट आई इज लाइकली असाइन टू द रॉन्ग क्लस्टर राइट सो आफ्टर दैट फाइनली वी कैन कैलकुलेट द एवरेज सिलोटी स्कोर दैट इज द एवरेज ऑफ ऑल द सिलोटी स्कोर सो लेट्स फिगर इट आउट राइट सो वेन द फाइनल सिलोटी स्कोर वी विल गेट इफ इट इज क्लोजर टू प्लस वन इफ इट इज क्लोजर टू प्लस वन देन इट इंडिकेट गुड क्लस्टरिंग structure if it is zero it suggests that overlapping is there and if it is minus 1 it will suggest that it is incorrect clustering means some data points might relate to other cluster which is falling on some other cluster right so based on that let's do one problem here suppose we are having a data set with six data points and uh, the data points are like a b c d e f and the assigned clusters Two of them are like C one, C two, C one, C two, C one, C two. So if this is cluster C one, then we are having here A data point A, C and E, and one more cluster we are having C two. Here data points are B and uh, D and F. Right? These are the clusters. Okay. Suppose the pairwise distance or similarity between data points within and between the clusters are as follows. So within these clusters, the uh, data points uh, similarities within within these clusters, right, is already given here. That intra-cluster distance means distance of each and every data point within the same cluster. That is A C A A A E, right? That is average distance of A to other point in C one. A to C in other point in C one and A to E in C one. That is average distance of this to this, this to this, and this to this. And the B I is average distance of A to points in C two. Average distance of A with this, this, and this. The average distance of A to B, A to D, A to F, right? That is called as B of A. B of A is average of average distance of A to B. Plus a to d plus a to f divided by three. That is the thing, right? And what is BC? Average distance of C to other points in C two. That is C to b, C to d, C to f divided by three. I hope you are getting. And what is B? The average distance of E to b plus E to d plus E to f divided by three. So we are going to get average distance of the three data points that is in cluster C one. That is going to be called as Between the clusters, because this is the distance B A B C B E are the average distance between clusters. Between means C one is also there, C two is also there. Whereas A A A C and A E they are average distance. These are the average distance of the same points within the same cluster. Means here only C one is in the picture, right? Okay. Now we are al already given this score. That let's assume computed value of A I and B I are as follows: A A zero point five, whereas B A is one point two, A C that is zero point three, B C is zero point eight, A E is zero point four, and B E is one point zero. And the final question is calculate Silauti score. So we are already given the within score and already given between score. This is our between score. This is our within score. Right now. We need to calculate Silotti score. So you know the formula is already there. B I minus A I divided by whatever is the maximum. So for S A, you know, B I one point two, that is one point two minus zero point five divided with maximum one point two, right? After that, uh, this is going to be called as S of A Silotti score of data point A. 
what is Silotti score of data point C? That is 0 0.8 minus 0 0.3 divided by maximum 0 0.8. That is Silotti score for C point. And Silotti score for data point E will be 1.0 minus 0 0.4 divided by 1.0. Right. So we are going to get the value like 0 0.58, 0 0.625 and 0 0.6. Right. Now we need to calculate the average distance of this. So finally, the average is we are having three data points in cluster one and the Silotti score of A, C and ERS follows divide. So we finally got the answer. 0 0.602 0 0.602 that is a positive score so it indicates that clusters are reasonable because they are closer to one that is it is reasonable with most data points are well watched to their own clusters relative to the night boring clusters and if a score is closer to one it suggests that good clustering structure is there whereas a score if it is closer to zero or negative, it may indicate that there might be all lapping in the cluster. So they are poorly separated in the clusters. But here the cluster is positive, which is closer to one. It means that these data points A, C, E, and B, D, F, they are well separated in the uh, within the uh, in the clusters, right? They are well separated data points in the different clusters, right? This is called as Silotti score, which is under which is under clustering, which is under clustering matrices for evaluation, right? This figure out the final answer that is quality of clustering, quality of clustering in unsupervised learning, right? Okay, I hope this particular lecture is going to increase your knowledge and for getting more such lectures on different evaluation matrices, do subscribe us. We are also going to discuss much and much lectures with different different domains so do like comment your thoughts and stay tuned for more such lectures have a nice day guys jai hind jai bharat